Hi guys, welcome back to PS Desire. Today I have got an exciting tutorial lined up for you. I'm going to walk you through the process of crafting some truly incredible product photos right in Photoshop. Now before we dive in, I want to highlight a crucial point. We will be utilizing the incredible power of Photoshop's generative fill feature. To make the most of this AI driven tool, it's essential to ensure you are working with Photoshop version 25.0 or higher. So if you haven't updated yet, I strongly recommend doing so to unlock this awesome capability. So what's on the plan today? Well, I will be demonstrating how to achieve stunning and lifelike results by using text prompts effectively. We will explore how to tailor these prompts to suit your specific product, its placement, the surroundings and even the background. With this technique, you will be able to create product photos that truly stand out. Alright, let's roll up our sleeves and dive right into this exciting journey. So here is where we are. I'm currently inside Photoshop, staring at the blank white canvas on my screen. Now our very first step is to bring in the product photo and place it on this empty canvas. Let's get started with that. Now head over to the file menu at the top of the Photoshop window. From the drop down menu, select place embed. This option allows you to insert an image directly into the canvas. Now locate and select the product photo you want to work with from the files. Click on it to choose it. Now you will notice that free transform is active by default. This allows you to scale it down if needed. Just click and drag the corners inwards to make it smaller. And to keep things centered, hold on the shift key while resizing. Once you are happy with the size and placement, simply press enter key on your keyboard to confirm the changes. Once you hit the enter button, you may notice the contextual taskbar pops up right on the canvas and it's like it knows exactly what you need next. It's super smart and offers a menu of options that are tailor made for the current situation. If you can't see this handy contextual taskbar, it might be disabled, but don't worry. I will show you how to get it back in action. Here is what you should do. First navigate to the window menu at the top of the Photoshop window. In the drop down menu you will find an option called contextual taskbar. Click on it to select it. By doing this you will re-enable the contextual taskbar which can incredibly useful when working on your projects. Ok now focus on contextual taskbar. For instance, if you have selected any layer in the document, it might suggest options like select subject, which helps us to make subject selection and remove background to automatically remove the photo background, free transform to scale it and create adjustment layer for creative tweaks. Among this array of helpful options, we are going to focus on the select subject tool for our task. Take a look at the toolbox. What we are after is select subject. Give it a click. Now Photoshop will go ahead and create a selection all around the subject. Now let's remember our main goal for this tutorial. We want to change the background of our photo. So as of now the main subject is selected, but we need to shift our focus to selecting the background. Here is how we do it. Locate the option that says invert selection and click and give it a click. Think of it as flipping the selection. So now the background is selected. Now you see an incredible tool called generate to fill powered by Firefly's advanced AI technology. With this powerful feature at your fingertips, you can effortlessly add, expand or remove elements from your images without causing any damage to the original photograph. The best part, it's incredibly user friendly. All you need to do is input straightforward text prompts right within the software. And guess what? You can do it in over 100 languages, making it accessible and easy for creatives from all over the world. Alright, now look for and click on generate to fill. It's the feature that's going to help us work some real Photoshop magic. After you click generate to fill, you will see a text prompt area pop up. This is where we are going to give our Photoshop some direction. So let's start by typing in description for our photo manipulation. In our case, we are working with a perfume bottle. 
So let's craft a description that helps Photoshop understand what we want. Next up, we need to choose where we want this perfume bottle to be placed. I would like it on a wet surface because it provides a more reflective surface which looks cool. So type on wet surface as our placement option. Now to take our photo manipulation to next level, we can add some surrounding elements to create a truly captivating image. There are so many options to choose from, from like fog, smoke, flowers and more. However, for this particular edit, I have got my hot set on rain, which is a great choice. I can add a dramatic and elegant touch to the composition. So type surrounded by rain. Now let's set the stage even further by choosing the background. This decision will help define the relationship between the product and its surroundings. In our case, I have two options to consider, one in front of or other is against. Let's consider in front of option. This option implies that our product is positioned prominently in front of something. For a striking effect, I have chosen a spotlight and strong shadows as the backdrop. This, this will create a dynamic contrast that really makes our perfume bottle stand out. By selecting this option, we are ensuring that the spotlight and shadows will enhance the overall drama and attraction of the image. Got it. We have just added the order of how to set things up for the best results. Now click on this generate button. What's truly mind blowing is that speed at which these tools work. You will be amazed by the realistic and jaw dropping results they can achieve in just a few seconds. And the results, well, they are nothing short of mind blowing. These tools work seamlessly to make sure the changes you make fit perfectly into your image, maintaining that perspective, lighting and style. And if you ask me, can we use this for commercial use? Yes, it is safe and suitable for all your commercial endeavors. They are designed with your business needs in mind. These remarkable tools are powered by Firefly, an AI system that been meticulously trained on Adobe Stock's extensive library. And let me tell you, Adobe Stock is home of hundreds of millions of top tier professional grade high resolution images. So go ahead and create with confidence. Once you have used Generative Fill to work its magic, the fresh content is generated, is neatly placed within a special generative layer. With this generative layer in place, you can have the incredible power and precision of Photoshop to refine, enhance and fine tune your image. You can experiment and add those final touches and elevate your image to a whole new level of creativity and even surpass your own expectations. Even you can change text prompts here in the properties panel and generate unlimited variations. And remember, to achieve the best results in your photo manipulation, it's a crucial to follow a specific format. And here is a quick recap for text prompt format. First, product. This is where you describe your main subject, which in our case is perfume bottle. Number two, placement. The perfume bottle to be on wet surface, which creates that beautiful reflective look, which we are looking for. And number three, surroundings. Here we have chosen to add rain to the mix which will add a touch of drama and elegance to the scene. And finally, backdrop. Lastly, we have decided to place our product in front of a spotlight and strong shadows. This will really make the perfume bottle pop and grab the viewer's attention. So here is the before and after. By following this structured approach, you will unlock the full potential of generative fill in Photoshop, enabling you to create stunning, eye-catching product photos that leave a lasting impression. So don't hesitate to experiment, get creative and enjoy the process of transforming your photos into works of art. That's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more tutorials, tips and tricks. Don't forget to like, share and comment. 
Stay tuned for our next video. Take care and happy editing.